here. I'm Shelly Gray from ShellyGrayTeaching.com and today we are going to discuss three different place value activities that you can use with base 10 blocks when you're introducing the concept of place value. So the first one is just building a structure or building a picture. You can even do this by spelling students names, getting them to use blocks to spell their names and then calculating the value of that picture or word or whatever they're building. So in this case I built a person the value here would be 254 because I've used two hundreds, five tens, and four ones. Another fun idea for this is you could have students build towers, which of course all students love building towers, but you could give them a target. So suppose you would ask them to build a tower that has a value of 562 or some other number. And then you can see how each student puts their own spin on things and uh, builds different pictures that equal the same value. All right, number two is race to 100, or I've also heard this game called the trading game. All you need here is a die and a place value chart. So I've made this place value chart on a piece of poster paper and split it into two columns so that this can be a two player game. So what we are going to do here, player one rolls the die. I got a three, so I'll put three ones in the ones column. Now player two would go. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna play player one's turn so that it's a little bit faster. So on my next turn, I get a six. So I take six more ones and put them in the ones column. Now I have nine ones in the ones column. Now player two will go. Now when it's my turn again, all right, I got another six. So I will take another six ones and put them in the ones column. Now what I can do is I can trade 10 of those ones for a tens block. So I'll take out 10 of them. And I get to now put a tens block in the tens column. And this just keeps going. Uh, players keep alternating turns and the object is to be the first player to get a 100 block. So eventually you'll be able to trade in 10 tens for 100. Now you can also use this with place value to the thousands by adding another die. And when you roll the die in this case, you can make whatever number you want. So I could either make 23, or 32, of course I'll go for the higher number. And then I would add 32 to the place value chart and the object here is to eventually trade in 10 hundreds for a 1000. So another fun way to practice place value with base 10 blocks. The third way is to do how many ways? And so we can do this as a carousel activity, which I love um, for a carousel you would write about maybe 10 different questions on pieces of chart paper or on the whiteboard in various places around the room and students will circulate the room uh, moving from piece to piece or from question to question and try to answer that question in a way that nobody has answered it yet. So this shows what this question might look like after three groups of students have visited. So they've all maybe worked with some base 10 blocks that might be at that question as well and come up with three different ways to represent the number 137. So now the fourth group is going to come to this question and they're going to look at what the previous three groups have done and now they're going to try to answer it in a way that's totally different and that hasn't been done yet. So these are three different ways that you can use base 10 blocks in your classroom to introduce place value. If you have ideas for how you could extend any of these activities that I've shown you, or how you've used them in your classroom, or if you have completely different ideas that you would like to share with some other teachers, please comment below and uh, leave your ideas there and that'll help out a lot of teachers while they introduce place value in their classrooms. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day.